We have breaking news as we come on the air tonight. A man is dead after a shooting just steps from the Navy Yard Metro Station in Southeast. I'm Erica Gonzalez. Thanks for joining us. Let's get you right out to the scene in News Force Mauricio Casillas with what we know so far. Mauricio. Erica, good evening to you. I'm right near the intersection of M Street and Half Street Southeast, getting a better vantage point than what we were able to see a little bit earlier as the police presence has diminished slightly. The police tape that was blocking this area off has now been cleared, but still plenty of officers on scene. It's our understanding that the man who was shot and killed, the shooting just happened right around this corner in front of the Navy Yard Metro Station. Now let's get to some video that we were able to shoot earlier when we first arrived on scene. At this point, there's limited information information on what we know about the possible suspect at this point. Police haven't released anything like that, any information on that. They also haven't released any information on the victim, haven't identified him. It's unclear what may have led up to the shooting at this point, so it's been confusing, but it's been confusing for the folks, I should say, who were out and about here, plenty of restaurants and bars, a very difficult sight for them to see as they were out here. I also spoke to one man who lives in Navy Yard. He said he's saddened and frustrated by seeing another act of violence in his neighborhood. Seems like it's neighborhood is uh, a little bit more dangerous, especially now I have a, I have a daughter. Uh, we just had a child. So we think about her as well and her safety. And that block right there, you try to avoid it unless you're, um, you know, not avoid it all the time, but you don't go as often as you used to. And that block that he was talking about there is just a block north of Nationals Park, and that's an area that police have still blocked off at this point. So again, still working to learn the identity of the man who was shot and killed and still working to get more information on what could have led up to this shooting. Reporting live in Southeast D.C., Mauricio Casillas, News 4.